I started playing Magic when I was 14 years old. My best friend, uh, his brothers were playing Magic just on Shabbos, and uh, I kind of just fell in love with the game ever since. Welcome to the World Championship Final 2013. It's Shahar Shenhar against Reed Duke. Reed Duke extends the hand, and at 19, Shahar Shenhar is king of the world. You know, it was surreal. Like, I, it was the first time I've, I've won anything like this. It was the biggest tournament of the year. I felt like I just made a name for myself. I'm still a disbelief that it actually happened. I was such an underdog. <laughs> for a second world's final himself. I'm just gonna burn everyone in every format. <laughs> That's fine. The one thing I remember about that finals is when Patrick Chapin uh, loosened his tie after he was down a game. And I felt like, okay, I'm gonna win this one. Five days for this moment. And twice, number one. He is your back-to-back -back world champion. The second time I won really changed me on a personal level. I felt like I was no longer as humble as I wanted to be. And uh, coming into the third uh, world championship, it showed. I didn't prepare as well. I didn't focus on magic that year as much because I was locked in for platinum. And it really hurt me for the last, um, for the last two years actually because I just didn't take it as seriously. I slacked off. I think I hurt my teammates for that um, because I was still on the best team in the world. I think it took one lucky tournament for me to actually get that fire back. That was probably the Pro Tour in BTX Swan when I made top 16 for the first time. And that was my best finish at a Pro Tour. And then the week after I won a Grand Prix with the same deck and I felt like I was back in it and that was just the beginning of the year. And there's nothing Brandon Go can do. He extends a hand, and Shahar Shenhar is now a four-time Grand Prix champion. Kind of like a dream come true, making it again, having an opportunity. This is my story to redeem myself. He's totally back, you know, and, and he's back in the discussion of, of the best players in the world, yeah. and, and certainly one of the people you don't want to see across the table against you at any tournament. I like to stay as humble as I can, so I'm not gonna have expectations to win this tournament. I will be extremely happy. I would feel like I'm back. And I'm just gonna take magic seriously for the, for the remainder of my career.